Hey, what's up everybody? It's uh, Rob with Instinct Bass and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. Um, this video is going to be another rundown on the 93 SV. I'm kind of doing this because I figure, uh, you know, a lot of people might have gotten this for Christmas. Um, this will also work with the 73 SV and also the 106 um, SV as well. Um, the 106 will just load a little faster and have a few different functions on it. But the 93 and the 73 will be identical except for their screen size. So this should apply to all those. Um, what I wanted to do is kind of give you, hey, you just got this. And, you know, what are five things that you kind of want to do right off the bat? Um, I'm sitting in the boat and I'm kind of holding this camera with a tripod. So sorry if it's shaking around a little bit. I'll try to keep it to a minimum. But just bear with me. I still think you'll get the same amount of info out of it. Uh, please drop a comment and give me a like and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, what I recommend the first thing doing is one of the most useful features of these units is uh, what's called the depth shading. And the way to set that up is you're gonna go in here to charts, and you can either do it from the fishing chart or the navigation chart. Um, I use the fishing chart pretty much 100% of the time, so I, I don't even mess with those other two. So we'll go in here to fishing chart. Um, I do have this in simulator mode just because I'm in my garage and you really wouldn't be able to see anything otherwise. Um, you know, it wouldn't really pick up well in here. So what I'm going to do here is kind of move it to where a spot where we're fishing at or we might be fishing at. Now I already have mine turned on. That's what these shadings are. But I'll show you how to set it up as well. So you're going to go into menu. Then you're going to go over to layers. Then you're going to go to chart, then to depth, and then depth shading. And this is where you'll turn the depth shading on and off right here. All right, so see now it's off and now it's on when you see that little green butt, that green mark there. Um, if you want to change anything, you'll hit this arrow, and then this is where you'll change what colors the depth shades will be. You can also add new, new ranges as well. Um, and so, for instance, say you want to only fish in... 25 feet of water well you can set one up like I have here between 20 and 30 it's set up in that purple color and again you can change these colors to whatever you like um, but now when you go back to the map and so now as I go back to the map those colors are, are set just like you saw them uh, you know earlier here's that green here's the purple here's the yellow you know you can set a, a shallow alarm with you know for red and that type of things like that but that's a very useful tool for um, offshore fishing I think it's one of the most fundamental things you can do to become a better offshore angler is to find, you know, these types of humps right here. You know, this is a, uh, you know, a hump coming off of a point. That'd be a really good spot to, to check out. So, you know, drive, you know, set those up before you leave and then drive out to the lake, you know, once you're on the water and you can find those spots like that. Very useful tool for, uh, you know, offshore fishing. All right. The next one is going to be how to set up your combo screens. So you're definitely going to want to do that. Obviously the first way to do that is to hit this combo button right here. All right. And these are all your combinations that you, you have options for. Um, and there are, I don't know how many you can, you can do. I'm sure there's a limit somehow, but um, I haven't found one yet. So say if you know, you want to build a certain combination, you can use these that are all presetted here. Um, or you can make up your own, which is, you know, customize. And then you'll just hit that add button. And then that'll give you what kind of function or what kind of screen you want to look at. It's called a function layout screen. Um, this is a pretty popular one here. So we'll just do that. And let's say on this side we want to put our charts. And we'll put our fishing chart there. And then let's say on this side we want to put our uh, traditional sonar. And that's going to put the traditional sonar there. All right. And you can obviously change those however you like. You can also drag this button here to make one, one side bigger or smaller. Um, also, if you tap on one of these, it'll pull up that particular screen. So I got to hit this done button first. And I'll call it combo 11. I'll just leave that like it is. All right. So now once that's saved, um, you can just tap on one of these and it'll go right to that screen. So say you wanted to make that one bigger. You would just tap on that. Then you hit back and it goes back to that split screen again. Say I want to go to the map. I'll hit that. Then I can hit back and it goes back to that split screen again. You still have these functions here. You know, I can zoom in on the map if I want. 
And, uh, you know, so that's a real, real useful function as well. You can pause the sonar using that. Um, but that's how you set up the combos, all right? So those are the real useful functions on how to set those up. Um, the next thing I would recommend certainly knowing how to do is to read side imaging. Know how to read side imaging. And I'll give you a quick rundown on how to do that right now. Um, because side imaging is going to give you your biggest field of view. So it's going to be basically like the analogy I like to use is you have two big flashlights sticking out from the back of your boat, you know, shining a beam to either side. And that's what you're going to be looking at. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just remember that you're looking at all historical data. You know, this is all data that's behind you, behind the boat. You know, you, you're not, your boat is not here. You're not looking out to, the, to either side there. The back of your boat is actually up here. That's where your transducer is. This white line is your transducer beam. This is going to be to the right side of the boat, and this is going to be to the left side. This is going to be your range out here, so you're 70 feet to the right, 70 feet to the left, and of course you can change that by pushing that range button right there. All right? These are going to be rock piles. These are going to be stick-ups. These little dots right here would be fish, you know, some type of small fish, like a shad or bait fish. Um, these would be bigger fish over here. All right. Down in here, this is also a fish. So just keep that in mind over here. That one's actually down at about 50 feet to the right on the bottom. So this is going to be the bottom right here on your right side, and this is going to be the bottom right here on your left side. This black space right here is the depth of the water column. Okay, so your beam is shooting out to either side. When it hits the bottom, that's when it gives this return right here on both sides. Okay, this side right here, you see that bright orange color. That's a harder bottom, whereas this over here is a softer bottom. So anywhere you see that bright return, that's going to be a harder bottom. Okay, so those are just the basics on how to use side scan. Um, you know, this isn't a side scan video, but that's definitely one thing you, you want to make sure you know how to do. Um, because it's one of the most useful features, you know, in the unit. Um, let's take, for instance, that, you know, we wanted to fish this rock here after we see it on our side scan. So see, it's already passed behind us. So how do we fish that? Well, what we can do is just go like this and put a waypoint on it right there. So all I did was go across the screen like that. And now if I hit this button right there, it's going to put a waypoint on that rock. And it's going to be exactly on it. So now I can turn the boat around and cast to that rock. Um, now one thing that I do recommend doing is if, if you had two of these units is networking them together because typically you're going to mark that rock like I just did on the bow unit or the console unit, I should say, and then come up to the bow unit. Now that mark is already there and now I can cast right to it. So that's the benefit of having two of them network together is when you create a waypoint on one, it'll automatically come up on the front one and now you can fish it much more, you know, much more efficiently that way. All right. The next thing I would recommend doing um, is knowing how to adjust the brightness and the gain. So on Garmin units, gain is, is called brightness. Um, and some others it's called, like I said, gain or sensitivity. It's all the same thing. Um, I don't recommend leaving it at this auto setting. That's what it may come out of the box in. I would definitely change that. And you can change that just by hitting that button right there and changing that, you know, on the fly like so. I typically like to keep it at around 92, just to where you're not getting a lot of fuzzy stuff in here. And then I'll typically bump up the contrast as well, just a little bit on that. And you can do that by this menu screen. Here you have your brightness as well and your contrast here. Again, it's on default. I would change that and actually bump that up a little bit to about 77% and see how you got a much better return now. So those are just the, the settings, you know, quick out of, quick and down and dirty that I would use and see how much better a picture that gives you now. Um, you know, so now you got fish here, rocks here, stick ups here, and you just got a much crisper return, you know, just adjusting the brightness down slightly and then the contrast up slightly. And that'll give you a better picture. Now, obviously, the bottom that you're on is going to you know, weigh heavily on what kind of picture you've got. If you've got a mushy bottom, then you're not going to get this bright return no matter what you do. Um, so just you know, adjust those to, to the best settings. But in general, I like to turn the brightness up, or I'm sorry, down just a tad, 
and then hit the contrast up a pretty good amount because it comes out of the box set, in my opinion, a little bit too low. All right. And then finally, last but not least, the fifth thing that I would definitely learn how to use is what's called the uh, route planning feature. And if I go here to this charts and then go to my fishing chart, we'll just take the Harris chain of lakes here. And there's that depth shading that I talked about earlier. Um, Florida lakes are pretty flat regardless. Um, you know, there's not a lot of, of stuff in the middle of them. But for our purposes, this will work. So let's say we want to plan a route, you know, go from here to let's say over here. Um, and we want to, you know, not go straight through this, this land here, which would obviously be a bad idea. So we want to come around this way. Um, again, this is very easy on this lake because, you know, it's just a bowl. You can just turn around there. But you'll get the idea if you're on a busier lake where this feature would come into play. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit where I want to go. And then I'm going to hit navigate to. All right, and then I'm going to hit route to. If I just hit go to, it's going to take me straight across that way. So instead, I want to hit route to. So now what I can do is adjust these turns. And then I'll hit add turn right here. add turn here and you can of course do this before you take off and so now you can just follow that purple line you would just hit navigate route now and now you can just follow these turns turn one turn two turn three turn four until you get to where you want to go all right one cool feature about the 106 and above that come with the ultra maps or if you buy the ultra map map card is that it'll do this automatically for you so if you're here and you want to go here you just hit you know hit that waypoint hit go to and then hit auto and it'll actually calculate that route for you so that's a really cool feature of those ultra charts um, other than that i don't really see a need for buying them um, you know unless that's a feature you really like um, they do allow you to adjust the or i should say they 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 adjust the depth of the water on their own so that's a really nice feature as well other than that, they're not that much more detailed than these charts are right out of the box. These are some of the best charts, you know, right out of the box. And that's one, one of the reasons why I recommend these units. So anyway, those are five things you can uh, do right away. Set up your depth shading, set up your combo screens, learn how to read side imaging, so adjust the brightness and the contrast, and then learn how to plan a route. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And congratulations if you got one of these units as a gift or something like that, or if you gave one to yourself. Um, be sure to do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if there's any other things you'd like to, you know, see and um, definitely appreciate you watching. All right. Trust your gut. Thanks a lot. See you on the water.